Greetings, Toiletarians. I'm your host, Toilet Terry, and you guys are all watching the last, the final episode of season 17. I repeat, 17 of Toilet Talk with Terry. That's me, obviously. Wow. I can't believe we have made it to the end of Season 17, guys. Thanksgiving Day is going to kick off Season 18. It's going to be exciting. You won't want to miss it. All right, so let's get on to it, shall we? The discussion topic for this episode is... You're under arrest. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking. The last video, the topic was the behavior police. And now it's, you're under arrest. Is that the same thing? No, it's not. And you're about to know why. In societies, in different societies, many different things, different things are frowned upon or not frowned upon. For example, I've heard of some societies where you can get arrested for farting in church. <laughs> The police will show up. Hut, 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 hut. You're under arrest for farting in church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I heard of this fat guy in Germany who got arrested for getting stuck in his chimney. <laughs> no lie. No joke. I can imagine the police entering his house. Hut, 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 hut. You're under arrest for putting yourself in danger. That's kind of compared to the behavior police, but police, but it's not exactly the same thing. You know what I mean? I mean, you can't really help farting. If you have to, you do it. That's not really a behavior issue. If you get stuck in the chimney, that's not a behavior issue at all. You just get stuck and that's that. So, I've heard that in other societies, you can get arrested for doing your homework at school. And if you don't do your homework at all, you get beat. And even worse, you'd start doing your homework the moment you get home from school. And when the sun's going down, you're still doing it. I can imagine the police escorting you... <laughs> If you can only imagine the police escorting you out of the school in handcuffs saying, you're under arrest for breaking the, the law. What law? It's called homework, not schoolwork, you doofus. <laughs> when I was a kid, I did my homework at school. So I wouldn't have to do it at home. Because I hated it. I've heard that in some dystopian societies, like those that you would see on TV and in novels... Well, in novels and then on movies or TV shows that are adapted on screen from the novels like The Hunger Games and The Giver. Societies like that. They're very real. And I've heard that in some of them, you can get arrested for breaking, like, the laws of biblical scripture, the Ten Commandments of biblical scripture, or... Contradicting anything in biblical scripture. Contradicting anything in the Bible. I mean, you could get arrested for having sex with a dog. <laughs> because the Bible says you can't mate with beasts. You know, when I was a kid, I gave a speech in front of my class. The requirement was, it had to be heartfelt and funny. I was like... Yeah, about that. Um, I read in the scriptures once that you can't mate with beasts. And then my Asperger syndrome started kicking in. And I started having anxiety. About <laughs> you, know, you can imagine the police showing up at your front door. Hut, 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 hut. You're under arrest for having sex with your dog. Dog, you're under arrest too. <laughs> what jerks. <laughs> you're under arrest for coveting your neighbor's 
ox or your neighbor's donkey. Hee-haw. <laughs> You're under arrest for saying, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're under arrest for worshipping Buddha. <laughs> Buddha. You're under arrest for committing murder. Okay, now that I understand. Mm-hmm. You see, here in America, the number one Christian nation in the entire world, we don't arrest people for things like that. And I think that has to do with the fact that we as Christians in America know that Jesus already paid the price for us on the cross. You see, most dystopian societies or societies that frown upon that kind of stuff so bad that they have to arrest you for it, I'm pretty sure that either those societies have been misguided or they need to hear the real truth about Jesus. And then maybe they wouldn't arrest people for that kind of stuff anymore. And they would decide to be more like America. So, I mean, when Jesus died and then rose from the dead, death was, was arrested. And the Lord said, and the Lord Jesus said, death, you're under arrest. And voila, there was eternal life. Mm-hmm. So I guess the moral of this episode is, even if you undergo culture shock and get arrested for something silly, remember, if you're a Christian and you believe and follow Jesus, you believe in and follow Jesus, you're not going to spend eternity in prison. And for that, you shall rejoice. And that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed Season 17 of Toilet Talk with Terry. Hope you enjoyed this episode in particular, this discussion topic. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button for more upcoming content, especially the episode of Toilet Talk with Terry on Thanksgiving. And I'm going to give it away now. Anyway, the discussion topic, or the main idea, let's say the main idea, will be turkey talk. Turkey talk with Terry. Let's call it that. <laughs> Anyway, it'll be great. You won't want to miss it. All right. See you guys in season 18, which is only just a few days away. Peace out. Hold up.